Right, the purpose of this demonstration, of this video, is so you get the idea of how you can take a picture that you've seen on the internet and use that as inspiration and develop it so uh, into a state where you can make it perhaps from the materials we've got available here. So this is basically to me, it looks to me like it's um, a rectangular frame with a piece across the middle and then basically um, a piece of plywood there and there uh, uh, on, on the top and underneath it. So I'm going to start off by um, drawing that but I'm going to draw it in a way that it shows how it could be made. So I'm going to draw it on this page actually to start with. Um, so I'm going to use a piece of isometric paper and I'm going to show it as exploded isometric. So I'm going to start by drawing the um, basic frame which will be something like this. And I'm drawing over the lines on the grid. You can probably just see those lines underneath the paper that I'm drawing on. And don't be afraid to turn the book round so that you can uh, draw at the most comfortable position for your arm. Right, now that is the, this, basically this frame here. Uh, and that's got some thickness to it, so I've got to put that information on now as well. Now it's a good idea to start drawing quite faintly so that you can always ignore the lines that don't come out quite right. Uh, you can go over the ones that you want the viewer to see heavily afterwards. So there is the, the basic frame and there'll be a piece across the middle. So we'll draw that separately. Up here. And the, the thing about exploded drawing is that it's, you draw it in the position where it would be if it had suddenly been exploded and everything had blown apart. So there's that is the middle panel there. Underneath we've got um, a flat panel. Like that. And on top, we've got another flat panel, this time with a hole in it. Um, now we've got, um, also we've got to think about how we're going to um, tighten the strings. The strings are going to be attached at this end. So they're probably going to be there's probably going to be a screw of some sort in there, um, and the string will have a loop in the end, and then it'll go up like that. There might be a washer underneath the head of the screw, and the same here. There'll be perhaps two strings on this one with a washer there, and then another string going up like that. Um, you could label those bits. Um, the other end of the string could be um, over here, and that might need some sort of little turn button. Uh, string tensioner thing, maybe that's something that you bought uh, on eBay perhaps. Uh, and they might go, there might be another piece of wood glued along here, like that, that you have got a couple of holes in for them to go through. I should have drawn those a bit further down, but um, you can see where they go. Right, now that's basically how that could be made. That's quite doable. Um, what about adaptations? How could you do it so that um, it looks a bit different, but it's maybe inspired by that? Perhaps you could change the shape, for example, so you make, make, make it slope in a bit so it's wider at that end than it is at the other. So we start off by drawing our basic um, crate, uh, 
something like that probably would do. Um, give it some 3D. Uh, and then let's see if we can put a taper on it. So let's go between there and say there. And across there. So, something like that would be a variation on that theme. You've got the same idea with the um, middle piece across here. I'll just draw it in place. You've got a middle piece across there to give you the end of the enclosed part of the sound box. Uh, and then the strings can go in a similar way. So that's using that image from the internet as inspiration. First of all, think about how you'd make it just like that. And maybe draw it like that and then perhaps think how you could change it a bit. There's a, there would be other ways you could change that as well.